What trends are we seeing in data analytics, Vinny? So I think one of the challenges is volume, right? Volume of matters have grown exponentially since when I started doing e-discovery. One thing that is, like Daniel had said, is how do we control cost? So analytics is certainly a key component of that, as well as other things that we do here at Level Legal, what we call DSR, I mentioned it earlier, data set reduction, is basically trying to find anything that is junk or irrelevant. We can do that in mass, utilizing a combination of tools, text searching, metadata analysis, and obviously analytics. Categorization is yet another tool that we are utilizing here on some larger cases. So I think it's the need to control cost as well as making it efficient and quick. Another trend I'm seeing relates to the types of files that are created in the new way we work. If you think back to the days where everybody was in an office together, you had traditional word processing files, emails, of course. And now with the distributed workforce and collaboration through video tools, even conducting business from your iPhone and all of the chat-based data that's available through applications on your smart devices, you're creating new files. Each of those comes with their own metadata, mm. their own challenges in the discovery context. Of note, as we see new data types, we can't always rely on the tool set and the workflow that we have in the past. So there's creativity, there's diligence required. Sometimes it's the first project where a client may interact with a particular mm -hmm. data type. And so it's important to be laser focused on the idea that waiting within each data set, there's efficiency to unpack and deliver to the clients. Another thing I see in what I believe is one of the most crucial parts of the litigation life cycle, it's the ECA process, early case assessment. And during that process, we're looking to get a handle on the contours of the data set. We're looking to extract information that'll help inform search term negotiation and putting guardrails, so to speak, around the discovery request. And I'm noticing counsel getting more and more involved in that process as they learn more about mm -hmm. analytics, the powerful tools and insight we can extract using them. It informs better and more equitable discovery such that it's not asymmetrical to the extent you can handle mm -hmm. that and it yields better results.